This is Support a Sexy, episode 78, and I just have one question for you. Why are you scared? Welcome to the Support is Sexy podcast. I'm your host, Elaine Fluker, entrepreneur, author, producer, and founder of Chic Rebellion Media. Five days a week, Monday through Friday, I talk to women entrepreneurs who share their journeys and the true stories of their wins and their lessons and give you insight and inspiration to take your business and your life to the next level. Here we go. Hi, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Support is Sexy. I'm excited to have you here. You know, it just would not be the same without you. So did you get that question in the intro? Why are you scared? This is a question I actually asked myself just last night. Well, I guess when you hear this, it may not have been last night, but for me, it was last night. I was walking down the street, coming from doing some errands. As you all know, if you've been listening, I'm getting ready to relocate from New York and Brooklyn to Atlanta. Got a lot of things to pack up, a lot of things that I feel like I need to do before I move was running some errands the other night, walking down the street in Brooklyn. The weather is unseasonably warm here in New York, right? at least right now. And while I was walking home, everyone was outside. There's a lot of energy. It's one of the things that most people, including myself, love about New York. When the weather's warm, people are outside on the stoop. There's music. It was just a lot of activity. Or maybe I was just very sensitive to it because I'm getting ready to be away from it. And I actually had this moment, not only of sentimentality, obviously, but also a moment where I just had this wave of fear come over me. I just got really scared in the moment, not scared that anything was going to happen, but fearful of whether or not I was making the right decision. Now, again, if you've been listening for a while, you heard me talk about going back and forth about this. I'm going to keep talking about it until the move happens. And then I'm going to talk about it after the move happens. So if you're in this with me, you're in this with me, bear with me. It always has a point, even though I'm rambling about my own experience. But honestly, I had this moment, a wave of fear over me. And I thought, oh my God, what if I'm making the wrong decision? Am I really going to miss this? What if this isn't right? What if this is the best thing that I have going right now? And I actually was standing across the street from my building, looking at my building when I had that thought, I'm giving this up. What if this is the wrong thing to do? And the mind starts spiraling spiraling into all these directions. I'm sure you've been there at one point or another, if not you, maybe someone you know has been there at one point or another where you just start to spiral once you have this negative or fearful thought. And then I honestly said to myself out loud, because you know I'm a fan of talking to myself out loud and encouraging you to do that in certain moments. I said, why are you scared? Like what exactly could happen? You move and you don't like it or you move and maybe something, I don't know what goes wrong while you're there. Nothing other than, God forbid, something fatal happening would be something that I can't overcome, especially with support, which I'm all about. But really the fear, and in that moment, which I realized when I said, why are you scared and challenge myself, the fear is just unwarranted. There's no reason to be fearful about making a move. And I say this, obviously, because I'm physically moving. But for you, if, if you, for example, have to have some difficult conversation with someone in your life, a friend, a boss, a partner, anyone, why are you scared? What's the worst that can happen? It might go wrong or it might be perfect. But why are you scared? What's the real reason that you have this fear and this thing there? If you are about to make some kind of move, maybe it's leaving some situation and it's not actually moving physically from one place or one state to another. Maybe it's some other kind of move you want to make in your life. Maybe you're ready to quit your job and start your business or close your business and go back to work. Whatever it is. Why are you scared? What's the real reason you're scared? And the answer that came up for me in that moment, not a right or wrong answer, but the answer nonetheless that came up for me in that moment was, you're scared because you think this is as good as it gets. Can any of you relate to that? Being afraid to move on to the next thing only because you're afraid that what you have right now is as good as it gets. Now, I'm not talking about you know, leaving your partner or something because there might be somebody better or leaving your job just because there might be somebody better. I'm not talking about being in that space where you're just always looking for the next best thing, so to speak. But I am talking about being afraid, as I was in that moment, where you let the fear take over you because 
you're afraid that nothing else will be as good as what you have now. Or you might be thinking you don't deserve some part of you and your subconscious might be thinking you don't deserve anything better or you couldn't possibly get anything better, even if not better, different. It won't even be as good. So a lot of times I think we, and I've been guilty of this, you stay in a situation, circumstance, whatever it is, longer than you need to, longer than you even want to, certainly longer than you should, because you're afraid to make that move. And that move could be going after some dream that you have. It doesn't even have to be something that's, a, again, a physical move. It doesn't even have to involve another person. It could be something like writing a book. How long have you been thinking about your book idea for all those writers out there? You've been talking about doing it and you're working on an outline and you're going to find an agent and you have all these reasons and excuses. Again, I know because I've been there. But really, why are you scared? Why aren't you moving forward with that thing? Is it that you don't think it'll be good enough or that no publisher is going to pick it up or that you can't imagine publishing it by yourself or that it won't be as popular as so-and-so's book, another book that's already out there, or it'll be too similar to another book that's out there? Why are you really scared? Be honest with yourself, which is what I did in that moment. You're being afraid and acting fearful and having all these thoughts because you don't think this is the right decision only because... You don't think it can get any better than what you have now, that you'd be crazy to give up your place in New York or you'd be crazy to leave Brooklyn. Who, you know, who does that? Who leaves New York and Brooklyn? You know who does that? A lot of people. People live everywhere, just like with writing a book. Plenty of people write books, just like with making a move in your business or in your career. Plenty of people do that and do so successfully. So why not you? Why shouldn't you do that? Why should you be afraid? Or, you know what? Not even why should you be afraid. This conversation isn't actually about not being afraid. I do want to correct that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, why are you being afraid? Because when I'm honest with myself about why I'm afraid or why I'm letting it take over me in whatever that moment is, I can get to an answer quickly and I can talk myself out of being afraid or at least let myself know that there's no rational reason to be afraid. Really, it's all in your mind or it's these thoughts, as I said, that nothing else is going to be as good, as better, as right, as whatever, as what you have in this moment. And you shouldn't shake things up just because, you know, you don't know if it's going to get any better. If you answer that question for yourself, and it's not why are you scared, just for everyone listening, I know it's not proper grammar. I was an English major and a writer and all that good stuff. Why are you scared? Gotta ask it like that. Why are you scared? Out loud, why are you scared? In the moment, when you're feeling it, why are you scared? What's the real reason? Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself when asking the question. Be honest with yourself with the answer. And I promise you, more than likely, once you get the answer, you will be able to say, That makes no sense. That's not rational. That's not a real reason to be afraid. Actually, if you don't think anything can get better than what you're doing now or that you're not, again, deserving of it or, you know, it can never happen for you in this way, you're playing it small. That's the thing. You're playing it small, afraid to go big. You know, we're all about going bigger, having the fullest life. It's not leveling up just for the sake of doing it. It's about living your fullest, sexiest life. You're afraid to do it in that moment. You are playing it small. The ego is telling you to stay where you are, stay safe, don't shake anything up. Why are you scared? You get to the bottom of why are you scared, you'll be able to move forward. So this was just a quickie today to tell you my experience the other night. Again, I like sharing these little things with you. Hopefully it's helpful. Some of you have been messaging me and emailing me and telling me that it is, which I so appreciate. Please continue to reach out. I love it. I love hearing from you. I love knowing what you're going through, what you're accomplishing, how you're moving forward and all that good stuff. So be sure to send me a message. I'm all over social media at Elaine Fluker. You can email me Elaine at ElaineFluker.com. And you know to see other episodes of Support is Sexy, where not only just me talking, I interview these fabulous women entrepreneurs and creatives. Go to supportissexypodcast.com and you can see all the episodes. So telling you that just in case it's your first time listening or you need a reminder, I have tons of free resources there. Click on the free resources button at the top and it'll give you an opportunity to sign up so you can get some good stuff in your email for me. Also, you can subscribe to the email list. So a lot of options for you, giving it all to you. You make the choice either way. I am so excited you were here. So grateful. I really appreciate you guys for listening to the episodes and for providing feedback. It means everything. Two-way street here. I really appreciate it. All right. So now you know what to do. 
Go out there and create something sexy, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.